Hi, this is Al Bain, Al Bain for Leather. I want to take a moment and talk to you about the slotted plate and the setup for the Cobra Class 4 sewing machine. Okay, so here you go. It's called the slotted plate for a very simple reason. It has a slot instead of the big space and the feed dog that the normal traditional setup has in it. Okay, so setting it up is pretty easy. This one's already halfway done, but we're going to talk about the preliminary first. These two screws right here, you remove them and remove the standard plate. And then when you have that in there, you can see the feed dog and the screw that holds it in there. You remove the screw, the feed dog, pull the feed dog out, put those aside for safekeeping, and then put the basic screws back in and get the slotted plate in place. But what you want to do is you want it all loose. See, this one can move around. Okay, and what you do here is you're going to adjust the stitch length to the longest position. Okay, and then very gently, once it's in place, cycle the machine so that the needle just starts to pierce. And you can see here that the plate is completely out of alignment, right? The needle's going to hit the side there. So reach over and just gently move it over so that it's in the middle. Okay, see, it just doesn't take much. Just kind of slide it over, get it lined up. Now, bury the needle into the into the plate a little bit, and then reach over and cycle the reverse lever. While you're cycling the reverse lever, keep your eye on the position of the needle in the plate and see that it's traveling down the center of the plate. Okay, so if it's not adjust that until it is, okay? Then reach over with your screwdriver and set these two screws, the front one and the back one. But as you're setting them, make sure that the screw itself, the tightening of it doesn't knock the plate out of alignment. Once you've got them tight, do the reverse lever cycle again and make sure that the needle is traveling down the center, okay? What you have to realize is that this machine now is no longer in compound feed mode, but in what's called needle feed, okay? The normal setup of this machine being compound feed has the feed dog, the needle, and the inside presser foot assisting in the feeding of the material. But now, since we've remo removed the feed dog, we are now in needle feed mode, okay? so. You have to compensate for that due to the fact that the feed dog is no longer helping and feeding. So you're going to realize that if you set the stitch length regulator at the same mark that you're normally accustomed to, everything's going to run a little bit shorter. So use a test piece, adjust for the stitch length so that you're getting the stitch length that you want, and then um, continue sewing from there. Okay, what you're going to notice is the bottom thread looks a lot nicer than it does when it's going through the feed dog. Let me uh, illustrate. Okay, now no making fun of my illustrations here, okay? So it, imagine here for a moment that this is the needle of the needle in the saw machine and this is your, your piece of leather, okay? What happens is the needle is entering in the leather and it's making this funnel shape as it's coming down and piercing the material. And inevitably, the material has to go somewhere so it displaces out and makes this little exit bump on the bottom, okay? So you can't help that, that's just normal physics. Of the, the material has to go somewhere. Well, this bulging, you're gonna see when you sew with the standard feed dog, is that it makes a little dimple on the bottom of the leather. And then the thread bridges over that to the next one. Then there's another little dimple. I call it the exit mushroom. Okay, but what happens with this, when you use the slotted plate, it doesn't dimple like a little mushroom. It turns into a little slot or a little 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 bump that's following right underneath the thread and it do doesn't look like that little mushroom. Anyway, try it yourself. Take a look and see what, if you like the results. And uh, if you do, let us know.